Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, out early, so that's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> so I have so many intro analogies, I don't even know where to start. So I'll just start with uh, last night. So I've been using supplements and it's going very good. Uh, and then I tried a new one and maybe a little bit too good, incredible energy and focus and drive, but then when you crash, you really really crash and I didn't realize I was crashing I just thought sometimes they worked differently and I was like oh I feel so terrible it's like you just did like a week's worth of work earlier today you you felt fine then uh, it's just a little different uh, so um uh, I was uh, last night it was like seven or eight and I was just, I was done I was done I was like it's so sad I'm, I feel like going to sleep it's just it's just all over and then two things happened number one uh, <laughs> is that I realized that the pills were not bad. I was just coming down off of them, and that was the part that felt bad. So if I took more, I would probably feel good again, which did happen. And then the other thing is that the neighbors, they start, you know the block wars they have in Judge Dredd? It was kind of like that, except for it was like Bandas versus uh, late 90s rap. So I was like, okay, that's annoying. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna be able to go to sleep. So I, I took the, the the go pills, <laughs> and uh, I went to the gym, and uh, everything went great. And then you know I'm doing cardio, I'm answering work emails, and I was like, th this is this is how it should be all the time. So um, the point of this video is that I'm bringing all, all. All, <laughs> uh, all of the fulfillment back. Um, I had a uh, Indiegogo last November called Zach Friday Sale. Get it? It's like a thing. Uh, and uh, I was so excited about it. I was like, this is so cool. I've got all this stuff in inventory <laughs> and, you know, at the <laughs> fulfillment center. So I can just do, it can be like a grab bag of, oh, oh, you want this, you want, oh gosh, it was a freaking disaster. First of all, I've talked about how the fulfillment center was always very frustrating to me because, you know, when I was fulfilling Jawbreakers Lost Souls and it was like, I don't know, 12,000 customers, something like that, I didn't notice this fairly large charge of like hundreds of dollars, almost a thousand dollars to process the mail list. Um, I mean, I think the fulfillment for Jawbreakers Lost Souls was like $80,000. It was huge. So I didn't notice this. I mean, I, I saw it there, but I wasn't, you know, it didn't jump out at me. And then I found out that that fee actually did not scale. Even worse, it was like per item. So when I came up with what I thought was a pretty cool idea, basically an inventory sale, the price for packaging one, you know, box going out to a customer was up to $20. I was like, what the hell? They're like, well, there's a fee for every item you put in there. It's like, this is a folded up poster. French fold is the technical term. You're charging me $3 to put a French folded poster into a Gemini mailer. Are you freaking kidding me? Now, they weren't all like that. Some of the packing, you know, if, if you're just ordering one or two things, it was like only five or six or eight dollars but it was still stupid and then uh, this was a limit you know I could only make so many packages there wasn't that much stuff in inventory so I, I had to limit it I think there was like 300 customers I am still to this day <clears throat> four months later three four months later getting emails every few days I never got my package or I was sent the wrong thing the failure rate on Zach Friday sale was something up like 20%. And that's with a ridiculous mail list processing fee. And then a, a ridiculous extra fee for every single item put in there. So I was like, oh. So I remember doing a video in December where I was like, oh, I'm I'm not using them anymore. But then I thought about it more. It's like, that's crazy. I gotta use them sometimes. They already got a bunch of stuff in inventory. And you know, I can't be fulfilling everything. It's like, no. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can and I need to because this is a crucial, crucial part of the business. Uh, so uh, uh, Ethan's been kind of on fire lately, you know, talking about, you know, uh, zero pipeline, customer service, you know, the Brian Polito model. And uh, I was 
a couple of nights ago, I was listening to, I don't like the live streams. I, I don't like them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like doing them. I don't like listening to them. But for some reason, I was listening to one. And he was just talking about, he just, you know, the customer this, the customer that. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. That's what it's all about. So uh, I'm bringing back all of it. And I mean, like, all of it. Uh, so recently, I've, you know, started, started the <laughs> the fulfillment season uh, for geez uh, job breakers grand bazaar expendables go to hell and even impossible stars now don't get that excited the books haven't gone to print yet but some people just order a t-shirt or they just order a print so I was getting the easier ones out first and just doing that you know getting I don't know hundred prints or I got like two hundred t-shirts on the way it was very exciting it felt like a real business again. The analogy I will give is I like hot dogs. I go to get hot dogs pretty much every time I leave the house. You got the you got the Nathan's hot dogs in the, the little steamer at Walmart. Those are great. And then of course you got Sonic hot dogs. Uh, but you know, sometimes I'll go to the dentist and I'll get numbed up. And like my brain will not allow me to leave the house and not get hot dogs. So what I end up doing is getting hot dogs with like half of my my mouth numbed up, which is an odd experience to say the least, but it's just in my brain. You leave the house, you get hot dogs. Uh, so the, like that, that, isn't that why people leave the house? So um, not doing fulfillment was almost like part of my brain business was numb. Like people would write me emails. They're like, Hey, uh, I didn't get this or Hey, it was damaged. I'm like, I would just, I would just give them refunds and they'd be like, thanks. I guess like I, I wanted a book. It's like, I, it's at the fulfillment center and I, I got to pay like hundreds of dollars for them to process. You know, it's, it only really works to fulfill things in batches. And it felt very disconnected. Whereas I remember two years ago, people would be like, Hey, I didn't get iron sights. It's like, yeah, you're up. Here you go. I got a box of them, you know, right here. Uh, I'll send you one. So I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, so it's basically a return to, you know, the Brian Polito motto. Brian Polito, jeez, Brian, you know that guy. Uh, <laughs> is that uh, he does everything. He, I mean, he's got a permanent, you know, footprint. He's got a, a, a business. Uh, with you know, with a front office and then you know a warehouse type area and then that was even one of the reasons I like moved down here in the first place is that I would have access to an empty room that could be used as a warehouse and then I remember I was like well you know iron sights alone like filled up the whole room so I can't be fulfilling a bunch of things it's like iron sights filled up the entire room because I was just putting all of the boxes on the ground like I had no shelves if I if I just order some shelves I can get, you know, four, I can have, you know, expendables and, and this, and then it can get even better because, you know, people always say, it's like, hey, you know, I, I ordered Grand Bazaar and expendables. Can you put them together? That would save me a lot on, you know, postage. I'm over here in Australia. And I was like, I'd like to, but again, it's the fulfillment. Now I can start doing that. Now that might have to get a little individualistic in that it might be like, hey, I ordered bo both of them. And then me saying, hey, I was able to put them both in the same Gemini mailer. Let me, you know, contact me and I will uh, uh, refund you the, the postage for one of them. Um, but uh, very, very excited. The other thing is that I started working out two and sometimes three times a day. I know, I know all the personal trainers are, oh, you're overtraining. You don't understand. Some of these workouts are, are pretty darn sure. They're basically a third of an actual workout. Um, but, uh, it's, to me, it's not about like going out there, you know, and getting the most amazing workout. It's like, did you get this in? Did you hit this? Did you hit, you know, did you do the cardio? So, um, uh, when I've got everything in house, I can kind of hit everything. If I'm answering emails about a script, I can do that. And then a lot of times you're just waiting for an email response. So it's like, then, you know, you go into the warehouse, you know, the warehouse room and you pack up you know, 50 packages. And then you know, on my phone, oh, I got this. You know, I mean, I can, I get tons of work, you know, on the freaking Stairmaster answering emails. Uh, so um, it's going to be more active. It's going to be more proactive. It's going to be more reactive. It's going to be more personal, you know, zero pipeline, as Ethan says. So I'm very, very, very excited about that. So I'm about to 
email the fulfillment center and say, hey, send me everything. I always imagined it as like I had my own pallet, but then I realized that doesn't make sense. It was, it's probably more of a cubby situation. Um, <laughs> so it was like everything in the cubby. Oh, and then they're like, uh, uh, oh, you know, because uh, I was like, hey, there's a, the failure rate is super high. And they gave me a credit for $420, $420. Uh, so I think I still have some, I don't, I don't even think I'll have to pay them more. It's like, hey, take my credit and, you know, just mail me everything there. So then that'll, then I can, then I can do stuff like, like twice a year I can do like a Zach Friday. And it can, you know, be, you know, what I, what I envisioned it being, which is, you know, uh, a la carte. Hey, give me two of those. Give me one of those. And then even like, you know, when someone's like, hey, Iron Sights, whatever, three got damaged. It's like, well, I've got an extra copy and let me go ahead and throw a, a, an Expendables or a Grand Bazaar uh, pinup poster in there because it's, it's literally right here and I don't have to pay myself $3 just to grab a poster and put it in with your uh, Gemini mailer. And then I'm also, oh gosh, I got so much stuff to talk about. And then I was watching Sweetcast and he was showing uh, Doug to Naples. Uh, he has the hardcover books and they come in this really, really nice decorated box. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I've been, you know, personally, um, I've been handing so many things off to other people, which ends up being really expensive. But I, you know, I was doing the, uh, I'm on these different websites for it's like, oh, this is for, uh, you know, print the uh, stickers. And then uh, this, and then they're like, oh, we have printed boxes and you look at it. And yeah, if you order 50, the price is terrible. But if you order 2000, the price goes way down. 2000 seems to be that sweet spot where you hit the economies of scale. And I mean, all of a sudden everything just drops to like, you know, it's like 90% off, you know, versus if you're just ordering a few dozen. So it's like, man, I could get these nice boxes, you know, the decorated boxes. They're really not that expensive if you order enough of them. Um, and then like, uh, Ethan, he's got the tape, you know, with his logo on it. It's like, I could have tape with a splat though. I mean, it's so it looks so great. So I'm, and also it's, it's better for me because I'm cutting these huge checks and then it's just like, I have no control over like three quarter, you know, yeah, like three quarters of my business is fulfillment. And then, you know, uh, customer service, it's like, oh, I don't know, I'm sorry. I'll just give you a refund. I mean, refunds, that's, I just lost everything. And I probably lost that customer because they're like, what the hell? I sent you $30 a year ago. And then a year later, you send me $30 back. Can I have some interest on this thing? What is this like a money market account? Um, so, uh, very, very excited about this. So it's basically the, the Brian Polito, uh, Ethan Van Skyver. He got his own warehouse. He actually got the thing. <laughs> I don't need a warehouse. Uh, cause I mean, effectively I have a warehouse. That was one of the major reasons of moving down here is that I just have an empty room. It's, it's just been the random crap room for like the last year and a half, two years, but it's going to be, you know, I'm going to go clean it up, order a bunch of shelves and it's going to become a real warehouse. Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, very, very excited about that. So, um, uh, I think that EFT, no NFT, <laughs> the funny thing is I was, I keep wanting to do that video and a lot of the SJW comic pros, they did something they rarely do. They started deleting their tweets because even they realized they, they were talking out their ass. They don't even know what an NFT is and they're so against it. So a lot of the really cringe NFT tweets are gone and I didn't have screenshots. I just had like a bookmark and then I go to it and it's gone. So it is going to be interesting, but I need to do more research probably tomorrow. And I think later today is, uh, uh, oh, uh, it's, I don't know what's going to be. <laughs> I think it's, I think I'll do, um, uh, commanders in crisis. That one's always fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.